Welcome everyone to Naporo Forest Park. We are of course here in Naporo for the battle of the overachievers. The overachievers of course are ourselves overachieving up in third place when we were expected to be down in about 11th and of course J2 League side Ryoku. They find themselves about sixth place in the J2 League and were expected to be a middle to lower league side as we were as well. So before we get into that one, the weather behind me isn't going to hold out. It's actually expected to be rather wet for our game. So without further ado, let's head on over to the Sapporo Dome and crack on with today's game. Okay, everyone, as you can see, we are jumping straight into things here today, mainly because I didn't want to hop into Google Maps and oversaturate it every single episode. We're probably going to be having a little look when we verse the Antlers in that unknown stadium, because I'm not quite sure where the neutral venue is going to be, but I think we'll have a little look around the area and see exactly where that is situated in the next one. But the main thing here today is the Emperor's Cup. Yes, semi final time if you take a little look at the top of the screen the current holders are the cell Kobe so we're going to have a new holder regardless of who gets it but the question is who will be the one to take it away will it be ourselves Ryoku Gamba Osaka oh Nagoya Grampus I would say before the league started Nagoya Grampus out of these four teams was probably favorite maybe Gamba Osaka the winner of that was probably the favorite to win this but considering our league position, I'll probably say we are favourites to win this title, which is scary. It's scary. We are versing arguably the easiest of the three opposition, and we are arguably the team expected now to win the Emperor's Cup. So a lot of pressure on our shoulders. We're overachieving. We're versing overachievers in the league below. And this is going to be a cracker of a game, especially... When we go into the main screen, which, ah, not much in the tactical screen, so we're okay. Very good pitch condition here today. 22,256 tickets sold from a 41,484 capacity. Little disappointing that we couldn't sell more, but 22,000 isn't too bad. It's a wet 9 degrees Celsius, and it's a little bit breezy. Opposition instructions we are, of course, going to apply Positive to balanced again, like the previous one, not going to change it. We're at home this time, and we're versing a team from the league below. We should be going positive at them. Now, Song Krasin is going to miss this one because he's travelling. I completely forgot about his international duty. And we're also missing another player in Kim Min Tai, who is suspended for this one. So that means Takamin is starting, and over on this left-hand side, we are, of course, going to bring on Kaneko and we're going to swap him to a winger but then remember to change it back for Song Krasin. So positive mentality a starting line up of Nakano, Suga, Havania, Fukumori and Komai in central midfield is Takamin and Miyazawa on the wings Kaneko and Lucas Lope in the middle and Nakashima up front. A bench consisting of Owaka, Yanagi, Misao, Fukai, AK-47, Ono and Ogashiwa. So Let's submit the team and head on out to pitch side. If it'll submit, thank you. Takamine is lacking a little bit of match sharpness. And Nakashima doesn't like the instructions of press... Okay, whatever. Nakashima, deal with it. You're the lone striker. Worst case, I'll take you off and we'll bring on Ogashiwa and hopefully he can make up for his terrible performance in the previous episode. Now, if you didn't see that previous episode... I probably wouldn't actually recommend going back to watch it, to be honest. It was against bottom of the league, and we didn't put much of a performance going forward at all. It was rather dismal. So, yeah, maybe don't go back and watch that one. If you're going to go back and watch any, go back and watch one of the cup ones. Especially, I believe it was the Sampreki Hiroshima one. Go back and watch something like that. But don't go back and watch the episode before this one, because that one, yeah. That was a bit painful to watch, to be honest. Let's give the fans a performance they are expecting of us here. Guys. Guys, I need a little bit more from you than that. That's not what I like to see when I give a motivational speech. Or a semi-motivational speech. Now, they are on a draw, a loss, a draw, and two wins as their recent form. So, they're not dramatically good. They're also not a pushover. 
We've got to be on our game today, lads. We've got to be. We've got the opening shot. We've got the opening three. Unfortunately, zero are on target. We're continuing that terrible shooting form we had in the previous. I'm going to put them on shooting practice for the rest of the week if they don't get a goal here today. Because this is ridiculous. Five shots and one of them was on target. Now, Kaneko plays it back to Takamin. Takamin holding up the ball nicely. Gets it back to Havanier. Havanier, lovely ball to Suga on this left-hand side. Will he whip it across? He does. It's nodded away, though. Paso, Paso on the counter-attack, plays about to Shida Nada, he's dispossessed by Nakimin, oh Kaneko from range, unfortunately can't keep his shot down, and now it's free on target from 8, we've kept them to no shots which is nice, but we need to get ours on target, Lopez, now to Takamin, Takamin's got plenty of space, plays it to Miyazawa, back to Takamin once more, Miyazawa, he's got a run from Koma, he goes back to Takamin instead though, Miyazawa, now we've got Komai in plenty of space. Lucas, are you going to find him? Maybe Miyazawa. Miyazawa holding up the ball. Finally finds Komai. Komai edge of the area. Oh, lovely shot from our right back. Seventh goal of the season, by the way. Drilled into that bottom left-hand side. And what a beautiful finish from Komai. He was waiting. He was patient. He goes to the edge of the box. And as you can see, he drills it into the bottom corner. Lee Yong Jik. Probably should have done a bit better. Maybe flick a heel at it, you know, try and get something on it and deflect it away from the goal. But we shall take those. Only, only four on target out of ten. Thankfully, though, they've had zero shots, zero on target. We've got an XG of 0 0.572. They're absolute zero. Four corners to zero, seven fouls to nine. Zero yellow cards, one yellow card, 90% passing, 77-60. 7% possession to 33. The only goal is Komai on the 37th minute and a 40th minute yellow card for Tommy Doku Ro. So, let's head to the dressing room. You have done well, but there's room for improvement. Decent, 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 decent. Takamin needs to pick it up. Decent, 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 decent. You know what? Everyone's playing decent other than Takamin. So, you know what? We're going to say there's room for improvement. Then we're going to take Takamin off. Takamin, you've disappointed me, my friend. So you are going to go off. No, Fukai. Actually, is that a wise idea? Because I'm not sure when our next game is relative to this one. If it's like a week away, that's not a, not too bad. Can we just quickly pop out of here? Have a look. If our next game has plenty of space, we'll take Takamin off. So our next game is in a week. Okay, so we can take Takamin off. That's good. We're going to take Takamin off then. Head out the dressing room, Takamin, stay in the locker. Literally, in the locker. Not even the locker room, just get in the locker. You've been bad. We're putting you in there. That's what we do with our players when they disobey. We shove them in the lockers. And right now, Komai is going to throw it in. Lucas. Lucas can deliver across. He does. Oh, it's nodded away, but Miyazawa will nod it down for Fukai. Miyazawa holds it well nicely. Fukai's got plenty of space. Will it be pulled back to him? No. Komai on this right-hand side. Lovely run. Whips it across. Unfortunately, the header cannot be kept down. And we go to our usual substitution time. Fortunately, though, we have a highlight. So we're going to watch the highlight first. See how that goes. Komai throws it into Lopez. Komai holding up the ball. Miyazawa. Miyazawa whips one in. It's nodded away. Fukai doesn't get it. In fact, it's Lopez. I thought it was going to come towards Fukai. Fukumori, though, on the half lady line, gets it to Havania. Havania to Fukai. Fukai over to his left-hand side where he's found Suga. Suga, can he pull it back for Fukai? Or maybe whipping across? No, he's going to be dispossessed, but he pulls it back for Kaneko. Kaneko, oh, it's chipped over. Lucas now got the ball on this right-hand side. Plays it across to Komai. No, Miyazawa, in fact. Miyazawa will hold up the ball. Gets it back to Fukumori. And that's was a lot of hot air for absolutely nothing. So, we have some substitutions we can make. Miyazawa is having a good game. He's a little bit tired, but he's okay. Lopez, a little bit tired again. Having a good game. Everyone is, in fact, having a good game at the moment. So, Lopez, we're going to take him off. Rest him. Bring on Ono. Maybe Ono can become one of the oldest goal scorers in this competition. I'm not sure what the record is. But it would be nice to get him some records on what is probably going to be his final season. I might keep him around just for the perks of keeping him around, but who knows? Maybe he'll become a part of the staff. Hmm, that could be a possibility. 
we could have him as one of our coaches going forward. I do believe we have a couple of staff members leaving, so it would leave a void which Ono could possibly fill. But me as our lovely Inception, Lucas, holding up the ball on this right hand side. He is snapped by Keo Take, and Keo Take might be going off. Yes, he is. He has been shown a red on the halfway line. There's only a couple of minutes left of this game. A little bit of good news for Ryoku fans. You finally did get a shot. One shot, one on target. But I think it's a little late. You're a goal down, and it is. We have won this one, ladies and gents. 1-0. 20 shots to their 1. 7 on target to their 1. A 1.61 XG to a 0 0.06. 6 corners to 0. 12 fouls to 18. 2 yellow cards, 3 yellow cards. 89% passing to 80. 65% possession to 35. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know about you, fine ladies and gents. But who are we going to verse in that final? I had it over on the right-hand side, but I didn't look. Right, we're in the finals. Congratulations. You all completely deserve it. I'm delighted for you all. Right. Well, of course. If they all deserve it, why wouldn't we be delighted for them all? Anyways. Oh, it went to penalties. And Nagoya Grampus is going to be meeting us in the final. So, Constantol, book Japan National Stadium place. Sagawa raise Suga Fitness concerns. Again, another player asking to be arrested. We'll give him three days. We'll give the whole team three days. We want everyone nice and well rested for the finals of the Levain Cup, I believe it is, against Antlers. And then, of course, this one. I'm not sure if this one actually. 20th of December. Where does this one fall? Okay, the final game of the season will be at the Japan Stadium as we take on Nagoya Grampus. But before that, we do have two more episodes. We, of course, have the Kashima Antlers game, which is also at a neutral venue. I would assume it's probably also at the Japan Stadium. Then we verse Kashiwa Racehall, where we'll find out whether we're going to finish third or fourth in the league. Most likely third, but who knows? Anything can happen. And then Nagoya Grampus to finish things off in the Emperor's Cup. But I thank you all for joining us. I hope you all have a lovely night and goodbye.